all welcome back to my channel if you're new thank you for stopping by don't forget to hit the subscribe button the bell notification so you know every time I upload a video and make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm always on Instagram so today is a first and it is a first because I have never done one of these <laughs> obviously I'm gonna be sharing with y'all the things that I picked up during uh, Black Friday sales so I didn't go ham I didn't go overboard I don't have this big huge gigantic unnecessary haul for you um <laughs> mainly because budgets okay I try to stick within a certain budget I only picked up a few things I got some things some hair things and some body care things so let's get into it so the first brand that i'm going to show you is myel organics i picked up some of their pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner and y'all i've been loving this stuff since last year like anytime i can find it on sale or for a good deal i get a couple of them because i go through it so quick i use it on my hair and I use it on Kaylin's hair. It just leaves our hair so soft. And it even helps, I've noticed, to define our curls a lot. So for these, I picked up two of them. Also, from my L Organics, I picked up two of their Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. They're, this is their, from their Moisture RX collection. I picked up two of these also. I'm really, I'm really excited to try this. I haven't tried anything from this collection, no shampoos, no conditioners, no stylers, no nothing. So this is gonna be my actual first time using anything from this collection and I'm excited because my hair loves moisturizing products. And the smell, let's see. I see most natural hair products have like a fruity scent or something like um, food type of scents, but this one is like a more clean scent, like a like a really clean scent, almost like it could be a body product. It smells real good, and I got two of these as well. And next up, again. From Myel, I got the Myel Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Styling Gel. And like I said, this is going to be my first time trying anything from this collection, so I'm super excited. Um, I like that this gel is clear. I don't know why I like that. I just do. And it also has the same type of smell that the leave-in has, and it smells really light and fresh. So, yeah. And the consistency of it is thin. So I'm wondering exactly how well my hair is gonna do with it because I typically like thicker gels on my hair, but if it doesn't work for me, it'll work for Kayla. So again, with that, I got two of them. Now the next brand that I picked something up from, I already showed, well I showed the Myel on my um, Instagram too, but this one I actually made a post about. It is the Camille Rose Almond Jar Twisting Butter Sweet Almond Milk and Honey. And I'm very excited to try this because I love butters for my hair, especially during the winter time. And my hair loves butter, so I'm definitely excited to try this and I love the smell of it. It smells like a cake batter or like icing for a cake almost like a pound cake type of icing like a cream cheese type of icing it smells so good and the consistency of this is pretty thick so and I was actually gonna film my first impressions for the other day but by the time I finished washing my hair y'all because I wasn't gonna show me washing my hair I was just gonna show me using this to style my hair but by the time I finished washing my hair I did not feel like filming which is how these two braids came about. What is this on my shoulder? Product. <laughs> how did it get back there? Who knows? Yeah, by the time I finished washing my hair, I did not feel like doing nothing, which is how I ended up with these two braids. So, it's coming, y'all. It's coming. I just have to make sure I'm very energized because, like, the day I was going to film it, actually, I had other things to do because if you did not know, I do 
edit videos for other people now so I had other people's videos to edit and um, changes to make to people's edits so by the time I did get in the shower to wash my hair I was already like okay I'm ready to just relax <laughs> so and washing my hair especially in the shower is like therapy for me is therapeutic and soothing for me so that did it I was I just didn't feel like doing my hair anymore or doing a video for it anyway so that's how I ended up with these two braids so Anyway, I will be doing a video of my first impressions for this. And if you want a first impressions for the Mael Hawaiian Ginger, let me know. And lastly, from Camille Rose, I picked up this very small, tiny, little aloe whipped butter gel. And after I ordered it, I was like, I might as well have just got the big one. But I've never tried this before, which is why I was like, I'm going to just get the small one to test it out to see if I like it. But I got this one. And I'd never tried it before and I just got the big one. So I was like, I should have just went on and got the big one just in case I did like it, I would have a big one. I got the smaller one and I'm excited to try this too because after I posted the Almond Jai on my Instagram, a lot of people were saying that this was really good too. So I'm excited to try this. And to me, it kind of, maybe I'm just smelling it off of my hand, but <laughs> I don't really smell anything other than this Almond Jai that's already on my hand. So yeah, this is the Aloe Whipped Butter Gel. If you tried this or if you tried the almond dry let me know how you liked it and what did you use it for like a twist out braid out also with the hawaiian ginger from myel organics let me know if you tried this and how you liked it because i'm interested in knowing i've been looking all over youtube looking for people who've done reviews on this stuff so i can kind of see what i'm working with but I've already tried this. I've been using this for well over a year now. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. As well as the Twisting Souffle from the Pomegranate and Honey Collection. So I love that. But I didn't get any of that because I already still have some. And I didn't want to overload my stock because... I just cleaned out a bunch of hair products. I actually threw away a ton of hair products that some hadn't even been used simply because they had been sitting for so long. I've had them for so long, they weren't any good and I didn't want to risk putting it in my hair or giving it to somebody and letting them put it in their hair and it's just be a big old mess. So yeah, and I don't want to start a product junkie type thing. <laughs> so that's another reason why I didn't pick up a whole lot of stuff. I just picked up what I really just wanted to try for who was having a Black Friday sale because I also want to try Azure Beauty's products but Gina Marie, One Smart Fro let me know that they don't do Black Friday sales and my little heart was crushed because I was looking forward to them. They were going to be the first one that I went to but they didn't do a Black Friday sale so I just have to wait and then get some of their stuff when you know I have some money in my budget for more hair products because I really do want to try them so moving on i'm going to get on to the skincare body care type stuff that i bought and that's going to be the end of my little haul so the skincare and body care products that i picked up are from a brand called herpothecary and they are an all natural handmade brand and they are black owned and also woman owned so so i'm just gonna hop right on into it show y'all what i got now i got some of these shower steam they have peppermint and invigorating eucalyptus and they are for putting into your shower when you take a shower and it helps to open up like your sinuses congestion and all that y'all <laughs> when I first got it I opened it up and I put my nose in and I took a big old, like I stuck my nose in and took a big whiff and this smell of it is so soothing I was literally just sitting there for a while like this just smelling it it's oh, it smells so good so yeah i got so whew. <laughs> it just does something like i love this smell i can't wait to try these but my kids may get to use them before i do because they are both actually sick so there's only two in the pack i wish i had gotten more now because i haven't tried these i wish i had gotten more because my kids are probably gonna end up using these and i won't even get to try it because they're both sick so this may help them feel a little better next up i got a bath bomb it's called surprise me bath bomb i guess because she sends you know whatever scent yeah that she wants to send you so i got the mediterranean fig and um i want to use it now 
But since I only have one, I'm like, I, I should save it until I have like a self-care type day so it can feel extra special or something. I don't know. And then I got this a dusting powder and y'all know dusting powders, if you don't know, your aunties, your grandmas, your mamas maybe have, you know, you've seen them do it when they get out of the shower, they dust themselves with like a baby powder type thing, like a talk base powder. But this is not talk based at all. It has arrowroot powder, pure corn starch, some type of clay. It's kind of scratched off, so I can't read it. Yeah, so it's not gonna cause any issues or anything like that. This, when you get out of the shower, get out of the tub, just dust it all over your body. And I know me personally, like, I started sweating in my sleep a lot and it makes me feel so nasty. So um, this is definitely gonna come in handy. I should've got more of these too, but I thought the thing was gonna be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna start sprinkling this on me before I go to bed so I can make sure I stay nice and fresh and dry. The scent is called Fusion. And it smells really, really good. It smells very fresh with like, I don't know how to explain it, but it smells real good. Then I got this whip soap in the scent Indie. It has tantalizing peach, apple and rose with magnolia and a light musk. And it smells good, okay? It smells so good. It's a soap, a whipped soap, so you would scoop it out and put it on whatever instrument you're using to wash your body and it will lather up into a nice soap. And the good thing about all of these products is that they are, number one, they're handmade and they are natural. So you don't have to worry about putting chemicals that you don't know on your body that's gonna seep into your skin and could cause any issues. All of this stuff is natural. Then I got a whipped body butter in the scent Island Gal and it has tropical peach, pineapple, and sunshine. <laughs> It smells really good. Like all this stuff smells so good. When I got it, I, matter of fact, I got it yesterday. This was the last package that I was waiting for to be able to show y'all what I got. I got it yesterday and I started smelling everything. I was ready to hop in the tub right then and there. You hear me? <laughs> then I got this body cream in the scent Queenin. And Queenin, I've noticed, is one of her more popular scents. Like everybody wants Queenin. So <laughs> I wanted to try this one out and this one smells okay to me. You know how, like we all have our different natural scents, so uh, this scent mixed in with my natural body scent will make a different scent than it would on somebody else. And when I rubbed it on me and let it sit for a while, I didn't, I wasn't excited or anything like that about how it smelled on me personally. But then Kayla was like, well, put it on me. So I put it on her, we let it sit and we smelled it and it smelled really good on her. So I'll probably end up giving this to her. But it still smells good. Like in the jar itself to me, it smells good. Just with mixed within my natural body scent, I wasn't too wild about it. And considering that I have another, like I have a body butter, Kaylin can have this one and it'd be cool. And then when Maya opens up, her name is Maya, the owner's name is Maya. When she opens back up shop, I can go back in and get the things that I really like. Cause really I bought bits and pieces of things just to try stuff out because the only other thing that I've tried from this brand is I tried, one of, I tried the um, apple honey whip soap, which is amazing. And then I tried a Yanni steam, like a steam for your vagina. <laughs> so I tried that too and let me tell you, well, that's a different story, but I love it. But she no longer sells those. Those are no longer in stock, so. I didn't order anything else, but she did throw in a soap. She makes handmade soap, so yeah. This one is called Fall Blossoms. It has delicious raspberries and plum, plus powdered lilac and apple, and I don't like the smell of this too much, but I'm not really a fan of this soap, so I'll probably let Caitlin have it too. So that is all that I got from Hypothecary. That is all that I got in regards to hair products. If you've tried any of those hair products, let me know how you like them. Like legit, let me know how you like them, what they did for you, how to use them. Because when I posted about the Camille Rose on my Instagram, I did get a few styling tips with it. Like a little goes a long way, don't use too much. So if you have any tips or suggestions about how to use them to get like the best results or tips or anything like that, let me know because I do want to know before I try them out because I don't want any of my products to go to waste and I don't want to try it and then not like it 
and then feel like it's a waste of money when in actuality i could have just used it in a better way so if you have any tips let me know down below let me know if you enjoy black friday shopping and what you picked up for your black friday haul this year thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe follow me on instagram keep up with me there and i will see you in my next video